welcome back to Shed Gaming. Thank you for joining us. Today we have an Ice Blue Invasion Fleet Tyranid Monster Smash against the Bully Boys. Here is my Bully Boys army. Bully Boys detachment in the Orc army allows me to get basically wagging twice. Wagging once with my entire army and wagging twice with all Nobs units and all Warboss units and Mega Nobs units. So very spicy. 2,000 points kicking things off. We have Mosrog Scragbag, who has the Warboss keyword, meaning he will bully Tyranids in this game. We have a Orc Beast Boss and Squigasaur going with three Orc Squig Riders and a Orc Smasher Squig, who is also Warboss keyword. And then we have my Orc Warboss with a big chopper, and he has the Bully Boss, the biggest boss. He got plus two wounds, and he's going to be going in a squad of 10 nobles, and he's a bit of a beefcake. Back line, my troops have 20 Orc boys with an Orc knob with a big chopper. And we have two squads of 10 Orc Nobles, and each is just five with Power Claw, five with Big Chopper. They synergize really nicely with the Bully Boys, get access to all the strats, can wild twice. One's being led by a Warboss, one's being going as they are, and they're hopefully going to- Dedicated Transport's a truck with a Wrecking Ball and a Big Shooter. We have the four Squig Riders that I said they're going with Squig Boss. A Bomb Squig and a Knob on Smasher Squig is the blue guy. He's lucky. Gun Wagon with- doesn't He has a cannon today, not a kill cannon, so he can transport all the knobs. And he's got four big shooters and a lobber as well. And he's looking like he's going to pull up with speed, red speed. We have six cans, all with rockets, just for some armor. We have one single death dread armed with a scorcher, care rocket, and two dread claws. We have a mecha dread, not a mega dread, a mecha, meaning he can fix things. And he's got a kill cannon. And that is the list. So it's a lot of characters. I was going to go with one more war boss, but we have three today, 20 nobles, six killer cans, 20 boys, a lot of crump. Wow, the bully boys. Can they bully these beautiful, beautiful Tyranids? Have the Kaiju Tyranids of the invasion fleet with their ice blue scariness. Have a hive okay. tyrant with the enhancement of her adaptive biology, giving her five up of pain that be uh, becomes a four up of pain for her. So she's very durable. Heavy Venom Cannon, Last Rip Bone Sword, pretty nasty. Going with a squad of three Tyrant Guard, armed with Crushing Claws, there to die for the Hive Tyrant to act as her armor. Moving on, we have a Death Leaper, looking absolutely monstrous and terrifying. Lone Operative, two damage melee, scary, scary Tyranid. Finally, we have a mutated old One-Eye there. He's very angry and scary, and he's old One-Eye's amazing. Feel no pains, strength 14 melee, very scary, very cheap. Gonna come in and cause havoc. And then a Biovore, the new model. Looking very cool. Gonna throw out some spore mines. Behind her, we have a barbed Hiridal, who's 340 points, but has a lot of smash, and has 18 wounds. Then, in the center, there are two Norn Emissaries. So both of them are gonna be Norn Emissaries. That's Divacaron model wise, but proxying as a Norn Emissary. So two big titans to hold the Tyrant line. They're five of pains on the objectives they choose. Moving on, we have the six Zonethropes, with one Neurothrope in there as well. The very shooty heart of the Tyrant list. Terrifying. Blast profile, or you can go with big Laz Cannon shots, doing a lot of work. And then finally, we have three Von Ryan Leapers to just stealth up, infiltrate, and fight first. Not bad, to kill some boys. And then, lastly, we have the Tyrant effects with Rupture Cannon. Looking like it wants to chow down on some Orc armor. And that is 2,000 points of Invasion Fleet Tyranids. Invasion Fleet, you can choose sustained or lethal against my army. And there's a lot of monsters. Who will win? Kaiju Tyranids against the Bully Boys. We are playing Purge the Foe for the primary mission. We are also doing sweeping engagement for the deployment. And we are doing Fog of War, so there's cover turn one, you can't use core strats. And we have deployed. Terrain rules are the same as always. We have trees, crates, buildings, all the good stuff. Five objectives. We have deployed along the battle line. For the Orcs, I have the Mecha Dread, the Killer Cans. We have the Battle Wagon with the Ten Nobles and the War Boss inside. We have the Death Dread behind. And on the left flank, we have five Looters, the Squig Riders and the Squig Boss, and the Truck with the Ten More Nobles. And then in outflank, we have Mosrog with 20 Boys. Train rules, same, same as always for Shed Gaming, set up by Massoir, line of sight applies. We have crates and trees and a very cool board. And now we take a look at the Tyranid Kaiju army as they come to scrap the orcs. We got a Norn on each flank, uh, one over there as well. Got Biovore here with the barbed hydrogel, 
Uh, got the zone for opening behind some terrain there. Uh, next to the uh, Hive Tyrant with his Tyrant Guard. And the Tyrant Effects just out in the open. Haven't got too much shooting, so a little bit open. And then got some Vines, Ryan's Leapers with the Death Leaper in the middle of the board, making use of that uh, lone op and stealth. So as the Kaiju Tyranids against the Bully Boys, choose your weapon and who will win. Let's go. Oh, blue is lucky for the boys. Tyranid dice for the nids. Let's begin! Boom! Oh! Orc turn one. We get a CP, so do the Tyranids. For our secondaries, we have Cleanse, and we have no prisoners in the new Pariah Nexus mission cards. And Battle Chalks, no primary, nil poir. At the start of the battle, you declared that the Norn Queen on this side is choosing, choosing that objective, vice versa for the Norn Queen on the far flank. And also in the movement phase, we have pushed up this Mecha Dread. In the movement phase, he gave the can on the right side, plus one to hit. And we'll continue with the Orc movement phase in turn one. Finish Orc turn one movement phase. You've been cagey and pragmatic, I hope. Push the truck this way with the orc knobs inside, holding the point down. Um, push the looters up. You can fire down into that big barbed hero doll, big barbed ball of nastiness, if you ask me. We've got the death dread and the battle wagon just shifted left to open up some avenues of fire. Or well, we have the squig riders advance just to push up and get into the game. Uh, and then the killer cans just shifted left a little bit, four in range to shoot some rockets. Who's also going to cleanse. Uh, so we'll get two points of secondary, and hopefully maybe kill something for no prisoners, but we'll see what happens. My killer cans, who has four of them within range, and they're going to shoot that barbed hero duel, but you will have cover. Let's begin. Rockets firing into your barbed hero duel. 43 number of shots. Okay. Seven shots. Hit. Pretty spicy. Uh, that's cocked. No! And then five to wound. Boom! Two wounds, though. AP2, um, you do have cover. There's a three plus save. Fog of War. Take some damage. Yay! Death Dread. We have one rocket launcher on the Death Dread. And he is going to fire into the barbed hydro. Cool. Uh, D3 with a rocket. Boom! Whoa! Three shots. In on fives here, though. Through the smoke. One hit with a five to wound you. That is a wound. Boom! Get three damage. AP2, same up as before. Oh. Gorcher is out of range. So we'll push now to the looters. And I believe the rockets are out of range. So we just have four death guns firing into that... Barb Tiradul, you're on the point, so I get the loot, so I reroll the whole hit roll. Six is here, but rerolling everything. Get that loot! Yes, there we go. Strength eight, T12. Fives to wound. One wound. You have a two up save though, but it is two damage. AP1. Two damage? Nope. Have the battle wagon with his kill cannon and the big shooters firing down the line of sight into that barb hit roll. Kill cannon, T6 plus three. Boom, for five. Fives to hit, boom. Okay, two, nine, T12, kill the big bugs. Nothing. Now, big shooters. That was better. And five to wound. That is sixes. Boom, one wound. A two up safe. One to one. Damn. He fired a lobber off camera and actually wounded the Dima Karen. It got a six, he rolled a one, down to four wounds. And now we almost finished the shooting phase. We might have some squig riders gonna sh throw in a couple shots into that. Taken four. Taken four damage. That will end Orc turn one. We fired a pistol, didn't do anything. Bomb squig is only after a normal move and they did advance. But we will cleanse with the Mecha Dread, giving us two points of secondary. And we're gonna also throw away no prisoners. Yes, we will throw away no prisoners just to get an additional CP. And we'll now move into Tyranids turn one. Turn one, they get containment and area denial as their secondaries. Very easy area denial points as you're just doing it with your uh, Death Leaper. And you, we both get a CP, I'm on three CP, you're on two. Tyrion has chosen army wide lethal hits against monsters or vehicles in the Orc army. Yeah. Wall of bugs advances as the sea moves up the tide. Blue Kaiju Tyranids have moved out of their hidey holes and they are coming on smoke. We have the Norn Queen pushing up with the barbed Hyrodule who took four damage. We have the three Von Ryan Leapers leaping into the fray, ready to take on the Squig Riders with the nasty Death Leaper behind holding the point. Six Brain Bugs pushing up this way with the Biovore. And then we have the three Tyrant Guard with the Hive Tyrant who advanced with the other Norn. And the Tyrant Effects who's sitting pretty, getting heavy, gonna shoot some Orcs. Phase has started and is starting with the Biovore. And he's gonna create some Spore Mines into these Orc forces. To create a Spore Mine in that far corner, 
throwing out more Tyranid power across the board. Shooting with the uh, barbed hydro. Very nice. Uh, into the killy cans. Ooh, the killy cans. Shooting at my cans with your big cannon, trying to suppress them with your ability. D6 plus three shots. Stay away. It's a blast. Six shots into the killy cans with blast. Hit off it. Not bad. Ba boom. Whoa! Four lethals there on your first volley. Okay, we're stop this now. Strength nine, T6, three's to wound. Wow, everything it's wounded. cover because I'm very many wounds, four ups. Roll well. Bam! I roll, which one can does. The can explode? Yes, it does. Oh, Barbed Hiradul got revenge, killed a can, it exploded, and wounded the can and the Mechadred. Six brain bugs firing everything with that big warp blast, singular shot into my Mechadred, who's taken a damage from an explosion of a can. Shots hitting on threes with lethals. Okay, no lethal. 12, T10, threes to wound, sir. Just two wounds, okay. Wounds coming through, AP3 to AP2 with four up saves. One goes through, D6 plus one damage. Okay, you can't see either. Two okay. damage taken, he's taken three damage in total. The Norn is now firing with the big melter shots into the Mechadred. Two shots hitting on twos. Oh! 12, T10. B3 is a cover with a 4 up. Come on! Yes! All fired over here, now pushing yeah. over this way. Yeah. We have yeah. a Tyrant effects. No one who advanced and can still shoot with the Hive Tyrant's um, power. He is now going to shoot the Death Tyrant. Onslaught Psychic Power. Continuing here, two shots on twos. Two hit. T8, 9, T9, threes to wound. Strength 12. Two wounds. No cover on the Death Dread. The barrels don't save me. Two 5 plus saves. Make one of them! D6 Damarsha. For just two. Dread is on six wounds remaining. You have a Hive Tyrant and a Tyrant. Oh! Hive Tyrant, I'm gonna rinse and repeat into the Death Dread. D3 shots in the Venom Cannon. For three shots. Three, uh, twos to hit. Lethals. Two. Uh, fours to wound. Strength 99. Oh, that's one. He is two. So therefore, I have a three plus save. Make it. Effects is now powering up everything into the truck. Hitting on twos because you got heavy. Yep. Here we go. Oh! T8, strength 14. No, your strength a lot. Two to wound. That's it. E4 with cover, it still goes straight through. Unless I have an in one. 2d6 damage. Oof. How many wounds have you got? I got 10 wounds, man. It's doable. You've done it plenty of times. Don't do it. Oh, no, he doesn't. You finish your shooting phase. You've done two wounds to the truck. You did two wounds to the death dread. You killed the killer can. I did another wound to my can, and you did two more wounds, bringing a total of three wounds to the mecha dread. But I am I'm still alive across the board. And that was relatively not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But that ends the shooting phase, and you do have some charges, if you wish. Mm. Charging, don't want to give the points for the kill more. No one gets kill more primary this turn anyway. And we'll push now to Orc, turn two. But before that, the Tyranids do get five points to die in the area. So the score is five to two. Push down to Orc, turn two. Two cards is sabotage and bring it down. Let's do this. Kill some bugs. Folks get four points of primary in turn two. We've worked. We have our cards. Let's begin the slot. End of the orc movement phase in turn two, and a lot has gone on. Let me walk you through it. So, starting off, a squad of nobles advance out of this truck and manage to push up here. They advance a three and they move up 12. They're going to try and take on the Tyrant Guard and the Hive Tyrant head on. We also pushed up the second squad of nobles with the war boss, looking like they want to take the center and kill this big bug, the Death Leaper. The Squig boss got smart and he's charging the brain bugs to try and take down your shooting. Killer Cans, you also advanced on a roll of a five, going to kill these Death Leapers. And the Mecha Dread at the end of the move phase is going to also heal up these Killer Cans. They charge this barbed Hiradol. And then we pushed up these boys from outflank to hold the objective. Wargs, so we get plus one attack and strength, five up in vans, and advance and charge was very spicy, keeping Mosrog in the pocket. DP to rapid ingress, old one eye, as in the end of my moon phase, I gave this red killer can plus one to hit. Old one eye has come on behind this building. Shooting phase starting with the death dread shooting everything into the tyrant guard. DP rockets, boom, fives, bam, one hit. Strength is nine. Bam. One wound. No cover, AP2, flat three damage, good sir. Five plus safe. Boom. My guard is on a wound as we now fire in the Scorcher. Sure, D6 hits. 
Boom! Six with swooning on five! Flame on two boo. You want to ignore covers, four up saves, and the Tyrant God kill him! No! He holds it down, survives Tyrant God, approving their worth as we're gonna do the battle wagon everything into the Tyrant God squad. One's on a wound, you're spending a CP now to give him a five up final pain. You've seen the pain of orc shooting, and it is measurable. Shots on five! Daka! Daka Daka. Five to wound! Okay. Three wounds go through into the Tyrant Guard, three up saves, and five up front of pains. Takes a damage. Five up front of pain to live or die. Yeah! Killed one, Bosh. Throw in the lobber. And no. A kill cannon. Into the Tyrant Guard. D6 plus three. Boom! Five's to hit. Boom! Whoa! Four hits. Uh, strength nine, T6. So three through. No, your T8, sorry. But that's four sixes. That is four sixes. Four wounds go through, AP two, two damage. Top of the base. And that's too tall as well. Yeah, yeah, no, no cover. Four, five ups, two damage. Whoa, makes two of them. Four damage goes through, two go through, two damage each. So four, five, full of pains. Need to make one to keep a guy alive. No. That. Death Ray killed the Tyrant Guard, and the Battle Wagon finished the second one off as the knobs are anticipating the charge. And that might be the shooting. You know, we have. We have some guns over here. We have three stickers and some pistols into Doom the phase. They framework. fired did nothing. Did kill two tyrant, go, tyrant guard though in shooting with the death dread and the battle wagon, which was very good for the orcs. We did a lot of damage, ish. We're pushing through. Hopefully, uh, melee is going to be now. We have charges across the board. Um, we're going to start with the mecha dread, and he's going to charge the barbed hirudal. Babushka, that's a nine fight going on here, and then we're going to push over. We got the cans. They're going to charge the. Um, Fight first death, Von Ryan Leapers. Get on a six. And this squad of nobles are gonna charge into the leader with the war boss. Final most important charge, the nobles are going to try and charge and make it hopefully into the Tyrant Guard with the Hive Tyrant. <laughs> Measurements, Bro. I am within a four inches, so a three inch charge will just about make it. Big Riders make it in, but there's no space for the Squeak Boss. He's just sitting pretty. Right first though, the Von Ryan Leapers leap into action and attack the Killer Cans. 18 attacks for lethals. Hitting on threes with lethals. Solid, very solid. Fives to wound the cans. Got five lethals already. Another two, three. Eight, four plus safes. Bam, takes five damage, kills a can, does it explode? He doesn't. Von Ryan Leap is there killing a whole can, and now you fight again first with the Death Leaper, the HQ. Yeah. The war boss who has the biggest boss enhancement, um, so therefore you're going with precision. You have six attacks? Oh no, three ones! Strength six, T5, hitting the character, but minus one to wound because I'm part of the knob squad and it's above my toughness, your strength. Fourth to wound. Now I fight with the charging units and I'm going to start with the nobles. CP to fight with these knobs and they're going to do arm to the teeth, which is a strategy which allows them to reroll all hits in the walk. Down to three CP, starting with the Finally knobs. Finally got in on the walk. the bully boys hasn't been active on their walk. we've got the regular walk. 20 attacks with beast, big choppers, into the tyrant guard coming in now. Yeah, hitting on threes with rerolls. Rerolling everything because I'm armed to the teeth. Oh, everything hits. Strength eight, T8, force the wounds. Okay. Two at a time, two damage into Tyrant Guard. You spend a uh, free strat for five front of pain. Four up saves, two at a time. Fails both of them. The pains makes one. Two of them. Four up on the one at a time, he's alive. Four up. He's dead. The pains, the Tyrant Guard got wiped out, and everything is going into the Hive Tyrant. If he won, three up saves. Boom! You failed only one. Two five for the pains, one damage goes through. Hive Tyrant takes a damage. Any powerful attacks into your Hive Tyrant. Yeah, the Hitting on fours, rerolling hits. Force to hit! Bam! Arm to the teeth, sorry, reroll everything. Which is really nice. Now, conversions ish, actually, really nicely. Strength nine, plus one strength of strength ten, wounding on. But you're a T8 right now because you're still part of the squad, so it's winning on threes here. Threes to wound. That's some bullshit. <laughs> oh, that was really good. That's some bullshit. Oh. Four up invulnerable saves. You're all pretty terribly. 18 damage goes through, you're on nine wounds left. Can these knobs just pick up a hive tyrant? Fuck for the pains. You roll well, but it is not enough. You did not roll well. The knobs are bullying the Tyranids in turn two, but it is not over, but it is just getting started. And the hive tyrant is wiped out. Spend 2 CP to interrupt. Interrupting with a barbed hirudal with lethals, eight attacks, hitting on threes. Oh no, Lewis. Lethal, two hits, strength 14, T10, threes to wound. Oh no. On AP3 is AP3 a five, three damage. five plus save, brother. I'm sorry. Charges, we're now gonna try and kill your Von Ryan Leaper. We'll start with the war boss. He gets nine attacks in the wag. Boss hits on twos. There's two ones. 
Plus four attacks during the walk from this war boss, the biggest boss. I get seven hits, strength nine, your T6, three to wound. The biggest boss kills things. Wounds go through at two damage, you have four up in one of them, I presume. Make, oh no, take six damage. Death Leaper has one wound left, and now all the knobs are gonna hit you. That many more AP1. AP1, two damage, plus all the power cores that come after you, and one wound. She's taken out. Cleaned up the Hive Tyrant 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 Guard. We cleaned up the Death Leaper. Let's clean up the Von Ryan Leapers. Minus yes. one to hit means I'm hitting on fives here, but I do have four attacks each. Three damage. Five. Fives to hit, I'm suppressed. I rolled really well in terms of sixes. Two to five. wound, strength 10. Bam. That many. Two, three damage, you have six up saves. Depression didn't help. You are wiped Quick out. Quick riders, we're going in the stick. Two brain bugs are left, and now we have the knob on Smash Squeak. On Smash Squeak has a big chopper, and then more jaws. Big chopper, four attacks, threes to hit, three hits, and then threes to wound. Three wounds. AP one, two damage into your brain bugs. Bam! Three more attacks with jaws, fours to hit. Well, nothing? Okay. But it's not over yet. <laughs> you have the Mecha Dread. Red Ripper Claw, six attacks, strength, 12, AP two, three damage. Three's the hit. Bam. T12, not bad. But I'm strength 13 now because of the wog. So three's to wound. Three wounds. Three AP2, three damage into the barbed Hirador, who's taken four wounds. It takes another three. Not bad. Taking three damage, you're down to 11 wounds. That will finish Orc turn two. I'll get some points to bring it down, but I didn't do Sabotage, uh, which wasn't the best. But I will discard Sabotage to get a CP and kill the Hive Tyrant. Get two points to bring it down, and I'm gonna discard sabotage as he pushes now into Tyrion's turn two, and we'll see how the hive mind responds. Turn two, they get marked for death, and I've selected the three units to kill the killer cans, the big boy squad and the Squig Riders. So five at Invan army wide, and your second secondary is overwhelming force. As well as killing things with primary for no prisoners, it's a very much a murder ori orientated term for the Tyranids, as you also have old one eye sneaking in the corner. Four points of primary, there are no battle shocks, so we'll push down to the Tyranid turn two, movement phase. End of Tyranid's turn two, movement phase. So normal emissary on this side moved up onto her designated point. Uh, to give her extra OC and that feel no pain and try and come after those boys. To do some fire and then charge knob. those knobs. Let's bring it on. Um, this run effect stayed still to shoot the battle wagon. The brain bugs fell back. Brain bugs fell back to put some more shots in. Barbed Hirodol standing their ground. And Biovore just staying. A rapid aggress Bosrog Scradbad from outflank. And interestingly enough, these brain bugs got hit in combat and actually killed enough that they actually didn't have to fall back. They can actually still shoot. Which is good for the Tyranids. Shooting phase begins. Shooting into the Squig Riders, and you rolled a five. Means is a D6. Yeah, D3 attacks. D3 shots, blast, so plus one. Yeah. D's a plus one to hit, hitting on threes from the Biovor. Six, T7, five, seven wounds as well. Okay, never mind. Brain bugs are gonna shoot into the Squig Riders. Three big shots. Three shots hitting on threes, believe those. Two hits. Dread 12, T7. One. Five and one. I'm sorry, Lewis. Not pissed okay. the green uh, hide today. Tyrannus X can see the battle wagon with a very slim sliver of sight. Invan, bring it on. Two shots. Rupture cannon on twos, two hits. Strength is 18 here. You need threes. That's one. That's a CP, surely. Last CP. Fails it. Oh, God. AP4. Cover is actually AP3. And then I reduce it because Orky Armor Contempt is AP2. So I am so... Doesn't make it. Fails it. Again, takes 2d6 damage from the T-Fects. Boom! 10 damage! Salvos into these nobles. Okay! Six go through, four up saves. You kill one noble. Oh, nine knobs remain. Shooting the battle wagon with the melter profile. Two shots. Two hits. Fours to wound. That is a lethal, very well remembered. That's three, but no cover because of how monstrous you are. Five up! No. E6 damage, you roll a six, you finish the battle wagon here, my friend. No, nope. on five it's wounds remaining. That's the second time you've done that. Continue. 2d6 blast into the boys. 2d6 number of shots. So seven plus four is 11 hits into the boys. Perfect boys killer. Strength six, AP two, one damage. Two's to hit. Three's to wound. Oh no. Four orky invan wag power. Oh, come on, make one. No, he killed four. Kill the knob <coughs> and two more. Barbed Hirodels firing out of combat into these nobles. E6 plus 5 because of blast into the nobles. 
and only threes to fours into the knobs. Okay, not bad. I'm T5, so threes to wound, minus one to wound because of the war boss, so fours. Three wounds. AP damage, but that's down to AP one. I still have a five up in one. Moments. Two nobles dealt out two knobs, and that will draw your shooting phase to a close. And it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too amazing, but it wasn't too bad. Charging phase shall follow this, though. It's coming into the knobs. ba bam. No one into the boys. Boys. The boys. Nice. Mozrog watches on. One eye into the truck. Easy money. Makes it in, what a nasty boy. Okay, you come. Starting with this Norn, and I'll have in ones, so bring it on. Smath is siding Talon, six attacks, three damage. And twos into the knobs. Nine, T5, so threes. So just two. Two in ones. No, so you have your extra attacks. Four hits, and then threes to wound here. AB2, five in ones, come on. No, three more went to work, killing five nobles. Oh, no. this no one to the boys. Yeah, same again. Attacks on twos. Wounding on threes here, T5. Boys are tough with the knobs. Five, top in ones. Making two of them. Just die. You killed one boy. You killed five knobs and one boy. One eye has six attacks with his big scything talons. Hitting on threes. Lethals as well. You get one lethal and only one hit. 14, so you're wounding on a three here. Okay. It goes through, goes straight through, uh, but I do have an end one actually. Five up. Fails it. D6 plus one damage. Doing only two Wounds damage on six. the track. Echo Dread is going to fight first into the barbed hero doll. Four wags of seven attacks on threes. Bam. At 13 here, so threes to wound. Come on, Mecha Dread. Do your power. Bam. Four wounds. Four, four plus saves, three damage apiece. You're on 11 left. You take. Come on. Spin dice. Six damage. Down to five wounds on your barb, which means you're minus one to hit as you fight back. Attacks back, hitting on fours though. Pretty bad. 14, so wounding on threes here, and you had lethals, but you rolled no sixes. One. AP3, in one. I made it. <laughs> Zero dollars not worth the points, and we'll continue. We can fight back now with the orcs. Starting with the knobs, who took a big hit over here. We have two with power claws and two with big choppers. Choppers on threes. Bam. And the norn on fives. Taking only one. Three plus save on the Norn Emissary. Taking two damage. Two five for the pains. On the point. Taking two damage. Two power claws coming in. Win the wog as well, so that's eight attacks. On fours though. Only two. Winning on fives. Four. Nothing. Back the five boys into the Norn. Eight guys fighting. 32 attacks. Ah! Six is the wound. Ah, you're tough. And I'm weak. Five AP one. Five three plus saves on the Norn from the boys. Take in a damage. Feel no pain. Feel the pain. Wrecking ball. On a five. Hits. Oh my god. Strength 10. Becomes strength 11. Doesn't wound. EP, I'm going to reroll it for CP. Why not? Bam. Not worth it, but worth it. EP zero, so you have a two plus save, but it is D6 damage. So roll a one. Oh my god. Turn in turn two to a close. You managed to wipe out quite a few knobs on the left side, couple boys on the right, and we'll see what happens in orc turn number three. the bully boys wog so we're having two consecutive turns of wagon as i get my secondaries and you shadows in the warp shadows in the warp over you battle shot the killer cans the battle wagon the mecha dread the boys and also the mozrog scratch gauge on all fronts and i got assassination now engaging on fronts they can't be battle shocked so all these units engaging is not applicable because of your shadows in the warp so well played tyrant is my friend and i have assassination so kill old one eye because all the other characters, which was just your Hive Tyrant, have been killed. Bully boys wog, so we've wogged again with the nobles and with my characters, which is really nice. I up to three, see what happens in Orc turn three. Orc turn three movement phase, we're pretty much just going to recharge in with these guys with another wog. We've advanced and charged up into the T-Fex, left those knobs to fight it out with their invon still staying intact. Um, pushed everything around here to just take on old one-eye and try and kill him for assassinate points. Which is the vibe. Also, it's looking like they're holding this down, cleaning up the uh, Tyranid mess. Mosrog is also going down for an epic combat. This battle is far from over. We still have these two Norns on either flank, the pillars of the Tyranid army, standing firm. So we must rip them out, root and stem. 
as Mozrog's coming in. We're staying in this epic combat that's been going on for about two turns now. And the boys are also staying where they are. For some shooting, we have the killer cans. We're gonna fire everything into old one eye. 43 rockets! Boom! Force, rockets, spam! Wow. Strength 9, old one eye's T9, he's a forced wound. Only one. AP2 is a 4 up save. Makes Five it. Two. Start with Scorcher. T6 hits! For 5. 5 to win though. T9. Oh! 3 wounds! 3 plus save is an old one eye, has a 2 up save, and a Fiona Pain. The Beast. Takes the damage. I got Fiona Pain. Takes the damage. Rockets from the Death Dread. E3. For 1. On a 5. That's a miss. 5 looters now into old one eye. The Spanner. Rocket D3 for 1. Come on! Missed eight death guns on fives because the heavy stood still, plus them to hit, re-rolling ones. Looters! Yeah. Went a T9, fives to wound. Two wounds. Two, three up saves, two damage apiece though. Come on, all shooting. Ba bow Come on! Yes. Two damage, takes a damage. Battle wagon's gonna do everything into old one. Fire the battle wagon, did nil, poah. Fire the shooting on this side, but we have the Mecha Dread, who can fire in combat, blast out of combat. So I'm going to do the blast shot profile out of combat into that Biovore. The save on the Biovore, push over the shooting. We've got the Bomb Squig, who's going to go off into the Brain Bugs on a 2+. plus. Yeah. Doom, 2+. Plus. Yes, D2 Mortals. Come on, Bomb Squig. Blow him up. Blow him up, boy. Oh, two wounds. Brain Bugs on a single wound, as we have three saddle get weapons, and then three pistols as well. Gets on fours. One hit, and then five to wound. Yes, four up save or death. And he's dead. Brain bug, pistol wound. Makes a save. That will finish the shooting phase from the orcs. Did two wounds to old one eye and killed the brain bug. Not terrible at all. Charges will do the nobles into the Tyrannifex, effects. Squig riders into the brain bugs. Um, Mr. Scragbad into this Norn. And the death dread will charge old one eye, starting with the death dread. Three will fail it, but I will use a CP there. CP roll. The charge, everyone made the charge, we're starting with the knob, spending another CP in the turn of the Wag, which they are in, they're bullying the Tyranids. They've re-rolling all the hits here, starting with the war boss. What's hitting on twos here? Re-rolling everything because of my CP. Everything hits. Arm to the teeth, wounding on fires and the Tfex. Strength is still a war And T12, three wounds go through from the Tfex from the war boss. Three up saves. Oh no. All three, but you spend one of your three damage ignores to ignore it, so you take four damage, so you're down to 12 wounds. Five power claws and three big choppers. Charge in with the war boss took the Tyrant effects down to four wounds. Getting two CP to interrupt with old one eye. How much damage can the old boy do? Threes for lethals. There you go. Threes to wound. Yeah. Five wounds, AP3, five up saves, makes only one of them. Four D6 plus one damage on each. You will kill me, probably. Oh my god, 15 damage. Six remaining, the Death Dread dies, does it explode? Boom, it does! Up takes a wound, he's down to five. Jesus. Second thing to explode today after a can. The looters, the spanner is a perishes in the fire, and old one eye takes a fill on the pain here. Save him. He's fine! That is destroyed. <laughs> and fiery smoke. And the good thing is he heals wounds in your command phase too. Mm. Mosrog is angry. He sees his brother fall in the Death Dread. He was friends with him for a long time. And now he's gonna kill your Norn, or I'd try to in the attempt. Seven attacks with Gut Ripper, plus one for the Wog, hitting on twos. Rawr! Gut Ripper. Oh no, two misses. Seven, but anti monster four plus. Mm -hmm. And you're a monster! Oh, four wounds! CP one, three damage. You have three plus saves, but three damage. Gut Ripper. Oh, six damage! More's rock, more's rock. You have Fiona Pains, you're on your objective. It makes two of them, takes four damage. Two, 11, and then we have the squig jaws of death. Can the big chomp of jaws take a bite out of a tyrannid? Three attacks hitting on threes. Oh, everything hits. And seven, it's strength five. seven, so five swoon with dev wounds, my friend. Dev wounds, four damage. Oh, oh, oh. Two, but four flat damage if it goes through, good sir. Four of them on a down. Norns are keeping you in this game. Now you can pick to fight first. Do you go with the Norn on the left, or do you go with the barbed Herodor on the right? Make your choice. You make your choice, I fight. Pick up your brain bugs, and we push now into your barbed Now you're going to fight first with either the barbed Herodor or the Norn. Barbed Herodor in the matchup of the ages into the Mecha Dread, who's taken three damage. Just one to hit, just fours. Ooh. Two lethals and a few hits, threes to wound. 
Three wounds, AP3, three five plus saves. Makes none of them. D3 plus nine damage. Wow, you just need to get four on three dice and you've killed me. You get, I think you've got me. Barbed Hirudal wipes out the Mecha Dread, but does it explode? Of course it does not. Very well played. I almost Ooh. took you down. You're on just five wounds, but you are. Still alive. Nobs can fight into your Norn, who's taken two wins. The showing that this battle is far from over. We fought back here with Nobs, took that down 12 wounds. You can fight back with the Norn, but you're going to fight first here with this Norn, who's on 11 wounds, into either the boys who haven't fought or Mosrog. And you won the battle with the Herodol, who's on 5 wounds. Mm -hmm. So your monsters are alive and kicking, as Old One Eye is also on 7 wounds. And this game's battle is not over! Coming back, 6 decks with the 3 damage Scythe and Talons. Uh, one lethal because I'm a monster, and this is wounding on threes here. Okay, five go three, four go months. Fails three of them. That's nine damage. Oof. CP reroll one of those failed ones. CP him because he is battle Well remember, yeah. you son of a gun. But I can make feel no pains. Yes, I made three of them. I need one more. No, one more. Which I make. Yes. Takes five damage. Dogs on three wounds from the norm. What's going on? Four extra attacks on two. Stay away, Jeffrey. Doing on fives here. Yeah. on T eight. Four plus is vulnerable. Make it. Fought back and took him down to three wounds. Back with this norn and with a T fex. Turn three. You wiped out all the knobs and you killed the death dreads. Fall back with the norn mm -hmm. and you did nothing to the knobs over there. And the boys did nothing to you with the norn over here. And I get nothing for secondary in turn three. Engage. I can't do it because I am battle shocked over here, which is very crucial. And I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna hold on to engage, but I'm gonna discard assassinate. Mm -hmm. As you push down to turn three, the third turn for the Tyranids. You get engaged in your fronts and you get defend the stronghold. You fail battle shocks with the T-Fex and Riddle, mm -hmm. who are out of setups range. And you get eight points of your primary for holding more objectives because these boys are battle shocked, meaning you hold this point with this Norn. And we'll see what happens in Tyranid turn three as you have just monsters holding it down. Mm -hmm. The moon phase of Tyranid turn three. So the Norn Emissary on this side just holding still to do the everlasting combat with Mozgrog Scrog Bag. Both Hyrodule moved round to intercept the Squag Hog Riders. Bex is just holding tight to get some shots off before her eventual demise. Uh, the Norn Emissary is moving her Feel No Pain objective to come after. Uh, this flank and help one eye who's moved up. Biovore with a nice. You're actually yeah. just gonna shoot instead with the Biovore. Into this quick place. Okay. Three. Plus one for three stay because you're heavy. One to wound. Okay. I was gonna shoot Mosrog Squack back. Fighting with the Melters. Don't kill Mosrog, please. Uh, two hits, not bad. Two wounds. Four of invuns. Making one CP reroll the other one. Come on! Yeah! Successful um, CP reroll! The Norn over here. The battle wagon, I found Battle wagon. Ah, oh, within Melter range with the Norn emissary fight. Choose! Oh no! Uh, Forward a wound, T12 on the Beetle wagon. Bob Tyrodol oh, firing oh, into the Squig Riders. Squig Riders. Give a blast with D6 plus 4. Eight shots hitting on fours. This one you're injured. Ooh, that, you don't have any lethals. Three hits only, winning on threes. T7. Two wins. Five in ones. Makes five of the Philippines, makes one of them. Rider has taken a wound. And they are suppressed. And they're suppressed, and they've still got an invram from being wog for double turns with the bully boys mm -hmm. because of that squig boss. Vectoring everything into the squig hog riders. So, Hit with the salvos, hitting on fours here. Okay. Fives to wound the squig riders. Nothing. Two rupture cannon shots, hitting on twos, but then minus one to hit, so threes. Then minus one to hit again because you're injured to so fours and three is oh, your natural ability skill. Your cannons, one hit. 18, T7, two to wound. Okay. Charge phase has begun. This guy is going to charge. Yeah, yeah. Barbed Hero all charge in the squid wire. Makes it on an eight. That's one nice. eye is going to charge about one. Very nice. The battle wagon, okay. Makes it on a four. Charging the cans and the battle wagon as you have the Norn charging the cans as well. Making it on an eight. Pushing through on this left side into the orcs. As you're holding it down with the t in combat and with the barbed here at all and with the Norn, so combat across the board. Very Norn melee. to the killer cans. One can's on four wounds. Fine with the rending talons for attacks two damage. On twos. Three to wounds, strength 76. 
If you do damage, is five ups. You kill the can. Explode. No. Three cans remain. And you have six attacks with your yeah. Scything Talons. Attacks on twos. Three's to wound here. Three damage there. Okay. Come on. Ooh, kills a can and a half. Holds a can and a half, two cans remaining. Old One is now gonna fire everything into the, fight everything into the battle wagon. It's an absolute showdown. One Eye rips the battle wagon in half. Tyranids are making a mess in this corner. Oh, the Bob Tyranid is gonna fight the Squig Riders. I need to Four's eight attacks. No lethals. Yeah, you like the lethals, don't you? Four hits, wounding or two's to wound here. Four wounds. Five up in vulnerable saves. You go through D3 plus three. First one takes oh. First one takes four damage. He is on two wounds remaining. He's alive! Second one takes five ups. Ooh, he makes two of them, but he's dead. One does five damage. Uh, we need to make three of these. Make none of them. One of them, but kills another squig boy. Oh, Barb's Herodal stepped up, killed two squig riders. I'm gonna fight with Moss Rock's Quagbat. Rip the guts. I need to rip the guts from this norm with my gut ripper. Seven attacks, because I'm still what? Twos. Oh. Again, two ones, same as before. Fours. Anti monster four plus. Oh. oh. Okay, four go through. Through AP1, three damage, good sir. Three ups, three damage. Three damage. Five takes three. Pains. Takes two. Rog is having a hard time here on nine wounds as the big squig jaws attack. Okay. Two hits. Come on, death wounds. Come on. No. We're going to fight back here with the Norn into Mosrog. Attacks. Scything first. Scything first. The three damage. I'm on three wounds. No lethals. Wounding nice. on threes because I'm only T8 now. No. Four wounds. Four pinmons. Come on. Oh, I made them all. I made them all. Mosrog. Oh my god. And extra attacks though. Four more extra attacks. Wounding on fives. Four pinmons. Makes it. We're going to fight back with my Squig Riders into your... Barbed here at all. Everything, we're gonna start with the Squig Riders, still in the wild, eight attacks with the stickers. This one hits, so I'm hitting on fours here. Still very solid. Wow. Strength six, T12, so sixes, but I get a lance, so plus one wound, fives. Bam! Holy Each shit. One, five go through, two damage. Takes four damage. Ooh. Here it all's on a single wound remaining, and now we have six attacks with our ch hitting on fives though, because minus one hit is suppressed. Fives. Strength six. Wounding on sixes. One wound. It's a level die on the barbed pterodot. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Squig boss, and he has six attacks stepping up, hitting on twos to threes, and team monster four plus as well. Squig boss, threes. Okay, gets four hits. And team monster four plus. Kill the monster. Three wounds. Team monster four plus, uh, three up saves, AP one, two damage, good sir. Bruh. Oh, yay. Uh, CP. Okay. Oh. Oh, he lives! Three more attacks with my jaws of death. Oh, I don't know, no more attacks. Fives, here comes fives. One hit. Death wounds! Oh, nothing happens. The barbed hero duel lives on a single wound. Nobs can fight your Tyrannifex. You get to fight me first. Yes. Four back killed one Nob. Now their warboss steps up. Still in the wild because of bully boys. Nine attacks. Can he kill the Tfex by himself? Things remaining now. The Nobs step up. Any power claw attacks from the Nobs were able to finally take down this Tfex. We fell back with the cans, we fell back with Mosrog, we fell back with the boys, we're still holding the point. Stayed in combat with the Squig Boss and pushed up the Orc Nobles with the War Boss behind that uh, building. Mm -hmm. To try and take your Storm or Hostile point and we're securing the No Man's Land. So we're trying to get secondaries and squeeze the points dry and kill this massive bug. Mm -hmm. So we go with the shooting now and we have... So we're going to fire uh, everything into the Norn. Cool. D3 from the rockets, bam! For one on a five, that's a hit, nice. Five to wound. Yay! AP2, three damage. Take three damage. Yes! A rocket. Looters firing everything into the Norn. Being on fives. Rerolling everything. Whoa. Okay. Wounding on fives, though. Strength eight. Getting one. AP1, two damage. Oh. Shooting phase. Nil. Pois. Everything is resting on this charge. This Orc War Boss into this barbed simulator of death. Rolling really well, getting an 8. Better CP to give this squad real ones to hit. Arm to the teeth. Power claws coming in, hitting on threes, rerolling ones, taking no chances here. No chances. Fives to wound. Bam. 
Oh, 3 AP2, 2 damage, 3 4 ups. You're on 1 wound remaining, please. Full. Oh, oh my god. The bear with the war boss. Come on, war boss. Hang on, twos, rolling ones. Yes, war boss. War boss. One more with the war boss. You got a 3 up or death. Fail it. Oh. Two knobs with big choppers to finish off this guy. Hitting on twos, though. Plus one to hit, re rolling ones. Come on, knobs. Fives to wound. Gone. Two wound. Two three ups. Come on. One at a time in them. Come on. Yes. Now for a CP roll. I failed it. Fail it again. Yeah. Oh. The urinal goes down. Does it explode? Of orc ten and four. We wiped out the big bug. We killed one thing. We get four points for storm hostile point and five points for um, secure no man's land. So we finally scored some secondary as we push down tearing the sand for. It's don't get defense stronghold, turn four begins. Tyrion is turn four, partial battle shop with this Norn emissary. You get secure no man's land and cleanse. Or fought back last turn, did no damage. Tyrion in turn four, movement phase now begins. The board is looking sparse and a lot has died. End of the movement phase, if you kill Mr. Scragbad, you'll hold this point because I'm OC 14 here, you're OC 15. And you pass your battle shock, trying to take that point with the Norn and old one is going to kill the truck. And you literally just have three big bugs as you fell back with that boy. In turn to turn four shooting phase, you have the norm gonna melt a scrag bag. Let's take it away. Two shots. Two's to hit. Oh, two hits. Three's to wound. Three. Four of them on. Boom, boom. Oh! He's made nine That's in a row. <laughs> Next one's doing the same thing. Same thing. You're not messing around here. Three two wounds. One wound. EP. One wound. Oh. Four pin bun. Makes it. Oh. Ten in a row, baby. Let's Take us. Ah. That's the orc way. Yeah. It's lucky. Shit. I've got some blue on me. Yeah. You're, you're blue. You make me lucky. One eye into the truck. Makes it on a five. Norn into the cans. The Norn goes back into scrap bag for vengeance. One CP. Not enough for interruptions. Okay, so we'll start with old one eye. Old one eye. Old one eye. Go. Attacks. Three's to hit. Okay, one lethal, two miss. Spent 14, T8, and one five wounds remaining. Threes. You go through 3d6 plus one damage, so plus three. Yeah, I'm dead. Do I explode? I don't explode. One eye is an absolute monster. Picked up the bat wagon and now the truck. Now into the cans with this Norn. That's four attacks on twos. These threes. Norns are doing it. Seven. T6. We'll go through AP two, five ups. Kills a can, brings one down to three. Do I explode? Of course I do. Four up front of Pento, mortal wound. Bam. Take a wound and you kill a can and brings one down to three, but then down to two because of the mortal. As you fight with your six attacks. Kill the units, but not only that, you took the no man's land with the center. This no one into Mosrol. Six attacks, three damage. Oh, there's a one in there. Lethal. Wounding on threes. Come on. Oh. Three, four pin buns. Come on. Oh, CP reroll. Yes! Wounds, this does three damage. Come on, Mozrog! Yes! He takes only one damage! Four more with your ending claws. Hitting on twos. What a battle this has been. Between two titans. One lethal. Holy shit, you're lethal already. Two wounds. Come on, Mozrog! Four ups! Makes one! Fill the brain! Oh my god, five up! No! Mozrog falls and gives you the point! That was epic. That was so. Ron turns around after taking the point by being OC fifteen and only have OC fourteen. Yeah, he's just gonna turn around and just make those made it. Be nice. We'll finish here in turn four. You get five points to secure no man's lands. And you wiped out Mosrog. Push down to the final turn for the orcs. But not only that, Kill you more. killed more units. So that was like a nine point swing. So you get another eight points of primary. I get another four. Tyranids are just about in the lead. Push down to the final turn for the orcs. Turn five, final turn. It's squeaky, squeaky. Final cards is going to be Locus, Locus Beacon. Do an action in your deployment zone for four points. And also uh, Overwhelming Force, a kill units off points. Um, and it's either, do we kill things? Do we do actions? What do we do now? Can we kill these massive bugs that you have given me who have just been a pain in my side the whole game? Command phase, battle shocks. We're okay. Primary, we get four for primary for holding that one objective over there. We spend our CP to redraw our cards. And it's the, end, it's the end game now, so we'll see if we can snatch victory from the jaws of these Tyranids. Tyranids are going to fire everything into the Norn on the objective. He's on 11 wounds. Okay, so hitting on fives, re-rolling everything. There you go. There you go. Fives, good sir. Come on. 
Two wounds. Two AP, one, two damage, please. Come on! Ah, oh, double six, you bastard. Two stickers. And we got two saddle get weapons from the squigs. Nothing, and then two pistols. Two hits. Six hits! One wound! Up, take damage! A D3 thump gun. On a five. Yes, probably be a six. Charge phase, we're charging the squig boss into the Norn, and we're charging the knobs into that pyroball. In the charge with these nobles. Start, start with the squig boss and the squig riders. Uh, right, start with the squig boss. Six attacks, come on squig boss, take on twos. I believe in you. I believe in you. Forced wounds, anti monster four plus. Four wounds. Three up saves, two damage, I believe in you. I believe in him. I believe in your bad rolling. I believe in the ones. And twos! Take two damage. For nine wounds, now we have the three squig jaws. Forced to hit, come on. One hit, death wound, please! No! Six attacks with the Squig Riders. Threes! Down to seven, didn't do enough, didn't charge here, charged over here. Five attacks on twos. Threes to wound. Threes to wound, one, two damage. Four guys didn't do the action, but they killed the Biovore, securing this point and killing a unit. Back with the Norn into the Squig Riders. Fine with the Rending Claws. And winning on threes. And the Norn makes all three. Six ups. Make one of them. No pain, two damage apiece. The first two, no, second two, kill a squig right. Smash a squig and the squig boss remain. Six attacks. Uh, three to wound. Three wounds. AP2 is six ups. Pull the knob on smash a squig, giving you one unit kill. Three goes through onto my squig boss. And the Norn lost the tail, but you wiped out the squig riders, did three damage to my squig boss, who's on five wounds remaining, and you're on seven. And we go now into the final turn for the Tyranids. It's turn five, you get no prisoners and you get extend battle lines to so kill units that will synergize nicely with primary battle. Pass your battle shocks and we'll see how much damage the Tyranids can Sorry, do. Melt in your face over there. Final turn, Melter over here, shooting phase begins. Two's to hit, two hits, and then threes. Two wounds, four up in ones. A five in one, that's ooh. Five in one, reroll CP. That makes it. So this guy's doing his blast profile onto them. 2D6. Plus three. Bam. Lovely. 14 shots hitting on twos. Threes to wound. Six, Eleven boys, and you make the charge. Old one eye makes the charge in combat. Hitting with old one eye. With a sweet profile with old one eye. Four hits. So six, threes to wound, trend six. Six ups. Oh! I only killed one guy. This yeah, norm yeah, into them. Yeah. Six attacks with the big choppers. Yeah. So it's quite a big, you have to kill these guys. But you're doing a good start. And then twos to slay. There's two ones! CP reroll. Reroll the CP, made it, ones left. You have extra attacks, can you kill them? Three it's hits, dead. threes to kill. Oh, two die. Perfectly wiped out the boys. Good. And then you get to fight first there. One beast boss on Squirk. Twos to hit, come on! Five hits. Anti-monster four plus. Come on! Oh, I can do this! One, two damage. Bah. Why do you not take any damage? Big chompers. Chomp jaws. One hit. Death wound. No. Finish the game off. The final showdown. Um, I'm gonna spend Six I'm gonna scores. I think you won. One lethal two misses. Getting four wounds. Up in ones. Making... Oh, two of them. Six damage on five wounds remaining. I'm a boss. I need to take four more attacks. I'm on three wounds, you're on seven. Two hits, and there's a wound on fives. And that will finish the game as you killed. You didn't kill the looters, but you did kill the boys, and you did kill the squig riders. So you killed two units. I killed one unit. That might decide it, and that will finish the game. So well played, my friend. Well played. Well didn't played. kill the Norn, didn't kill any of the Norns. We'll total up the points. So, now. end of the score. The Orcs got 49, but the Tyranids got 60. The invasion fleet invades, conquers, and reigns supreme. I only thought I had that in the bag from turn two when I slaughtered your hive tyrant and killed your tyrant guard. But your norns held on, they wrecked you primary, and once your little things died, I couldn't really kill the big stuff, no. which was quite big for no prisoners for killing more units. And there was that big turn. In your turn three, four, and five, you scored 40 points in primary. Yeah. And uh, what went well for the orcs? Initially, I did a really good warg. I did good successive wargs. But you coming in here... Murdering all my stuff, killing my battle wagon. Old one I was an absolute monster. Um, give him the MVP. For MVP for me, I'll give it to the Squig Riders. Maybe yeah. the, the war boss with the nobles are great. Even better if just not getting crumped over there. But what do you what do you think? Um, for me, old one I went on a bit of a mission. He did went on a mission. He, he secured that back 
objective, did really well. Uh, both the Norns did yeah. were pretty clutch, really. They just kept kept me in it the whole game, really. So I'd say the Norns as well. The second, yeah, the they really game. did. And the Terran is won by 11 points. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you on the next one on the Kaiju debut channel. They beat the Orcs again. So the Orcs are winless in their three attempts with the new Codex. But they'll come back bigger, harder, and stronger. They always do. And we'll see you on the next one on Shit Gaming.